not to destroy us, but to allow us some more time on the earth. So very thankful for that. Uh, we give always due respect to his servants of the past, of olden time, those being the prophets of old, is that right? And the apostles uh, who he taught so well. Uh, we thank God for them. Uh, we certainly give due respect to our leader and our brother and dearly beloved pastor, Pastor Jennings. As always, we ask that you continue to pray for him and the work that is going on. Uh, so much going on, is that right? Uh, do as always, remember his family likewise and all the other ministering brethren throughout the world and so many of them, we uh, honor them likewise. And to you, the saints of God gathered here in Philadelphia and to those who are watching in other parts of the world, we greet you always in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, to those who are watching at large, uh, we want to just remind you as always that this is the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program is pre-recorded and live most times, coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters is still located right here in Philadelphia at, uh, at 5105 North 5th Street and Lindley Avenue, uh, where the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and our general overseer. We will always remind you that this program is intended to open up your eyes to the truth of God's word. Is that right? Uh, which is so well needed across the world. Uh, it's, uh, we want to encourage you to turn from the vanity of this life and to turn to the living God. Uh, get ourselves ready, my God, for eternity. Is that right? Uh, we want to always be mindful of those who do not speak uh, English. We do want to reach out to them from time to time to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Señoras y señores, saludos. Saludos a todos nuestros audiencia de habla hispana de la radio y de la televisión en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 5105 Norte Quinta Calle y Lindley Avenue, en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania. 19120 en los Estados Unidos de América. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 24, 30, no, localizada en el 5105 Norte Quinta Calle, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125 en los Estados Unidos de América. I would just like to reach out to them again, just to remind them of where we're located so they can write to us from time to time. Now, we're going to present onto our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, our apostle, the yeah, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. Once again, as always, we bear witness there is only one true living God. That's right. He has no partners, he have no errors, he doesn't make no mistakes, he's infallible, he's perfect, and we thank him for being the true sender, I'm going to ask you to kind of turn me up back there some more please, being the true sender and true teacher of holy prophets and holy apostles. Most of all, we are certainly fortunate enough to be in the way of holiness. Yes. I find now that a lot of men that was fighting this and still fighting this, now they're saying they're holiness. Imagine that holiness fighting God's holy word. When a man go in a ring and box, he don't box himself. Time for him to be ushered out of the ring and admit it. Anytime you say you believe in the way of holiness, you don't fight holiness. None of God's true apostles fought each other. They fought false prophets. And fought against. He fought against falsehood. But we are blessed today when I think of the progress that continues to take place, not just here in Philadelphia, but abroad. I got a message from Singapore. 
from an uh, elder that I've told you about, uh, Elder Ulysses, who came out of the UPCI. He was telling me that uh, the word of God is spreading throughout Singapore, and especially in the Philippines. They are holding Zoom services weekly where they watch the telecast together and pray and testify. He's patiently waiting for the COVID-19 restrictions to be lifted in Singapore so we can send someone or I come to baptize the many that want to be baptized. It's spreading to Cambodia, Malaysia, and also Nigeria, and as well as many other places. So this message, as I said, moreover, a God sent holy message guarantees holy results. If it's not a God sent holy message, no need to look for holy results. Uh, let me make these announcements while it comes to mind. Uh, to you that are in Dallas, Texas, Sunday evening, June the 27th, from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, services will be held there uh, at the Help Studios Event Center. The address is 2435 Squire Place, Suite 100, Farmers Branch, Texas. That's at the Help Studios Event Center, 2435 Squire's Place, Suite 100, Farmers, Texas. Now, if you want to reach them, you contact them at 832-559-0479. 832-559-0479. Also, you that are in Des Moines, Iowa, uh, the ministers will be coming through there to baptize all those that want to be baptized. The day's end by Windrum. West Des Moines, Iowa at 1258 8th Street. West Des Moines, Iowa. That's July 30th at the day's end, West Des Moines, Iowa, 1258 8th Street, July 30th. If you want information on that, contact Brother McCarver at 734-363-1650. That's 734-363-1650. And I want to say to my staff to please post this today right away. And to all of my ministers, when you're going through these different areas, please remember, it's best you notify us a month in advance. Contact us a month in advance so we can get this information on the church website in advance to let the people know. All right, let me update you about those that are baptized so far. And this is every week now. Every week, you bear in mind. So far, three in headquarters, two in Mobile, Alabama, one in Lakeport, California, four in Bronx, New York, six in Houston, Texas, 12 in Cleveland, in the international area, one in the Netherlands, one in London, England, seven in Manchester, England, four on the island of Mauritius, seven in Johannesburg, South Africa, 26 in Mozambique, 128, including one bishop and eight pastors in Malawi, giving us a total of 202. Amen. <laughs> giving us a total for this week, 202. Amen. Now, the telecast there in the country of Malawi, God is working wonders there. I mean, the bottom have fell out. <laughs> no, maybe it's all about it. The bottom have oh, yeah. fell out. Uh, the first organization came. The minister baptized 267 souls in one day. Wow. This is the second organization came. Uh, 128 in one day. I received the email. Three organizations more want to come with a total together close to 600 want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And all these events are being filmed. Wonderful. Excellent. And they're being uploaded on our website so the public can see the wonderful works of God. Yeah. That's right. A holy message. Oh, well, yes. Give you holy results. Right. Don't 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 forget that, viewers. That's 
right. I don't care how many sand they holiness. Look over their work. That's it. That's right. Look over their results. Oh, yeah. Look over their labor. That's right. A holy message, not something that's branded holy. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 You can be branded blackberry preserves. Yeah. And when you eat it, it ain't worth spitting on. That's true. <laughs> you can get a pie branded peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. Tastes like cardboard. Yeah. Holy message. You know, a lot of preachers get upset about this, but it's true. It's true. Holy message guaranteed. I believe the Lord talked about how he stood behind these apostles with signs and wonders, diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. That's written. That's right. That's written according to his own will. And these things that are being done around the world, God willed it. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I said God willed it. Amen. So I'm thankful for this message. I got a text this morning from a contractor that I knew. Haven't seen him for quite some time. He said, I was in uh, Cleveland the other day and fishing through the television. He said, I, he said, wait a minute. Is that Pastor Jennings? Oh, yes. He said, my God, man, the place was jam-packed. He saw the telecast from this morning. He said, I didn't know you were here in Cleveland. I said, what well, we preach is everywhere. I said, I'll be coming up in Ohio, God willing, in August. He said, please, please. He said, I live in Ohio now. Please reach out to me. I would love to come. Well, as I said before, so sad now again to all of you that are watching, you that were blessed to survive the COVID virus so far. When this message come in your area, I advise you to take advantage of it in a manner like you never had. That's right. That's right. You should flood to this. Oh, yeah. That's right. Thanking God yes. <coughs> that you're still living. That's right. Giving you time to get right yes. on his terms. Yes. 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 Amen. Now remember next Sunday, God willing, <laughs> On Bondage Day, <laughs> July 4th, Bondage Day. They call it Independence Day, but it's Bondage Day. Because only he whom the sun set free is free indeed. Yeah. July 4th, we're supposed to have a discussion with Mr. Israel. And uh, so we'll see whether he show up. If he do, fine. If he don't, well, <laughs> fine. You know, a lot of these men, they're eager to get over there. They want to know they're going to be over there. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. That's right. Let's come on here and talk scripture. That's right. But to the public, you're welcome to come. And I want to uh, remind everybody that the mandate for masking for the left year has been lifted. So it's That's optional right. now. That's true. So if you come inside the temple, it's optional. Many, well, not many, only a few folk criticize us for wearing masks. But I guarantee if they want to go in the supermarket and that market say you can't enter without a mask, if you want to eat, you're going to put it on. Sure. Amen. So the reason why we were compliant, because the Bible said obey majesty, meaning obey the laws of the land. And the only reason why we, when, whenever we retaliate against a law given from any government is when that law contradicts the Bible. Right. Does it contradict the Bible? We have no problem with it. That's right. So the mandate been lifted. So whenever you come into headquarters, whenever you come into service, it is no longer uh, necessary to be optional. If you want to still wear it, that's you. If you don't want to wear it, that's you too. Wonderful. Nobody won't bother you either Wonderful. way. Wonderful. They, can, they, they can hear your mouth louder now, Lord. <laughs> You, you that be, you that be wanting to know <laughs> who's the loudmouth brother in here? Uh, brother Logan, he's so glad to take that mask off. Amen. Glad to take it off. Right now he's waving to get in the air like he just don't care. Amen. But folks been writing me about you, Logan. They want to know who is that fella 
that's enjoying church so much. Amen. That's Logan. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for this. I'm telling you, God is truly blessing the truth of God. Amen. Without question, it's truly blessing. Word of God is being preached. I greet all the ministers around the world and all the followers of the truth of God message and all of our brothers and sisters of First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ internationally. I remember when we couldn't see that. Yeah. Right. We true. was in a basement and then from there to Briar Road and then Frankfurt Avenue and now here. here. And God has taken this message country to country State to state, town to town, village to village. I was blessed. I was FaceTime from Detroit this morning, looking at the beautiful temple there. Oh, my God, I'm telling you, Detroit looks wonderful. I mean, it looks wonderful. So we sent one of the brothers up there to put the windows in and so he's taking care of that. And we set it up where we got porcelain marble from floor to ceiling and the entire auditorium. And it looks beautiful. So God willing, we hope to dedicate the Detroit Temple this year. God willing, the last weekend of September, we look to dedicate the temple in Mobile, Alabama. Also, we got to finish the temple in Portsmouth, Virginia. And we got to finish the temple in Lumberton, North Carolina. And uh, the Saints in Raleigh looking to buy, we're looking to buy a new temple in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're looking now in Raleigh, North Carolina or in Durham, North Carolina. And there are several bishops that have reached out to us who's up in age. That they want to sit and meet with us and we talk to some and they say well uh, uh, we would like for you to take over our churches and I asked them why <laughs> amen because God made me a builder and I don't need your churches That's right. <laughs> and I asked why one bishop said he said Pastor Jennings I'm up in age I've been pastoring for 62 years and he said in all of my 62 years I've heard more truth from your message that God gave me than all the years that I've been preaching. And he said, you said something not so true. He said, I've been pastoring 62 years. Never have I seen no preacher baptize so many people in one service. He said, I, you have baptized more people. In one service, in all the 62 years, I've been pastoring my church. That's the Lord's doing. This is God's government. There's only one church, get me, one. One people. One God that governs. Or that rules the church. That's right. One teaching. Yeah. One doctrine. Yeah. Many lessons that's compiled or that make up one doctrine. Yeah. The variety of lessons come from one doctrine. That's right. Because of the so much wisdom that God had to offer us. And believe me, I want all that God had to offer but one thing. Get me. Amen. I said everything that God had to offer, I want it. But one thing. Parker, Parker looking at me like, wait a minute, what you talking? I thought you said you want everything. I want everything that God had to offer but one thing he can keep. That's right. I don't want it. I don't want it either. It's called hell. That's right. You got it now, Parker? <laughs> just like I don't want that noise I just heard. 
God Hallelujah. truly is blessing first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I want to thank the ministers that here in America and in the foreign countries. I talked to the minister in London uh, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Telling me how the calls are just coming in from Scotland, from Germany, from the Netherlands, from so many parts of Europe. Amen. He said he, 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 he go to different areas, baptizing them by the number. Wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ, throughout Africa, crying out for baptism Wonderful. and receiving the Holy Ghost. Yes. Got a call from a Methodist preacher this week that I met in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. He got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And when I talked to him, I examined him and he said he didn't have the Holy Ghost. He said, but I'm still tarrying. He said, pray for me. Wonderful. He said, I want the Holy Ghost. I asked him, do you believe God? I said, he said, yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Called me yesterday. Excited. He said, Pastor Jennings, I came through speaking in tongues. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> he said, I came through. He said, since the time that I saw you in Jackson, he said, he said I, 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 I thought about the message. And uh, the message that was on the day over the telecast, that thing was thundering too, brother. Oh, yes. And he reached out on faith. He said, God, fill him with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. I'm telling the world, oh, yes. like the scripture says, come thou with us. Yes. Glory to God, we'll do you good. Amen. This is the best thing that God ever Put in there, nothing in the world is equal to or better than being holy. That's right. What is holiness? Where did it come from? Who's the originator? That's right. Holiness. Is the characteristics of God right. revealed to the prophets and the apostles through teaching and divine revelation? That's right. Holiness is the thinking of God, the function of God, the characteristics of God to govern all creation in the form of doctrine, doctrine. rule, regulation. Law that's implemented from the Most High. That's right. Yes, sir. When did Holy Ghost holiness start? It never had a beginning. Never had a beginning. That's right. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Bible says, according to as he God hath chosen us in Him before the foundation, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. Right. It was before the world was. Holiness is older than the earth. That's right. Amen. 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 Ain't nobody else can say that about their old religion. Holiness is older, older. than creation is. That's right. There's not a planet older than holiness. The moon and the stars is not older than holiness. That's right. Oh, holiness is called the ancient, ancient of days. Ancient. Has, Hallelujah! Blessed be God, it has no beginning. no beginning. Praise the name of God, and it has no ending. no ending. God revealed his holy way to men. That's right. Taught it to them. Opened their understanding to it. That's right. So they can preach it. That's it. Teach it. And Demonstrated. Yeah. Holiness have no date of its beginning because it has no beginning. It always was because God always was. So everybody have to come back to the original plan that God outlined for everybody to be 
And that is to be holy. Be holy. Yeah. Amen. You see, I didn't always know that, viewers. I used to call myself apostolic. I came up in an apostolic church. Amen. Apples with stolics. One scripture says the way into the holiness of all was not yet made manifest while the first tabernacle yet stood. Amen. And when I came out of the falsehood, I was a germ carrier. Amen. Because that's all I knew. So I was a hand-me-down preacher. Preacher was dressed up in apostolic, and then uh, I, I was handed down those apostolic clothing, and I wore it. Until holiness came to me, the holy God. Yes. Amen. And I remember in business school there was a discussion between me and a Muslim from the nation of Islam. And uh, he began to tell me his background and all that stuff. He said, Gino, what is, what, what, what is your religion? I said, apostolic. He said, apple who? He said, I never heard of it. And I gave him an explanation. It means we believe, preach, and practice what the apostles believe, preach, and practice. He said, where is it at in the Bible? Amen. Oh, I went to all type of scriptures. <laughs> he said, I'm going to do you like you do me, Gino. And he, he flipped it. Yes, he did. He said, I'm going to do you like you do me. He said, where is apostolic in the Bible? Glory to God. A few days later, God started dealing with me. Yes, sir. Amen. Told me to go back, search the scriptures. He dealt with me. That was years later. When I say a few days, I don't mean like three days later. I mean years later. He dealt with me later on. And I start searching. Oh, that sound better. I like that. Yeah, give, give, give me that sound right back. It came and ran. <laughs> I don't know what you've done back there, but bring it back. Take me back to the place where this was. And when God started dealing with me, there you go. Opened up my understanding. I searched scripture from Old Testament to New on a journey from God. Couldn't find apostolic nowhere. And then God started dealing with me how the term apostolic was an acronym split off from the word apostles. Just like seven day Adventists split off from when God rests the seventh day. Just like Baptists split off from John's title, John the Baptist. Just like the religion that's called Christianity split off from the word Christ and Christian. Mm -hmm. Just like the religious group Pentecostals split off from the second chapter of Acts when the day of Pentecost, which was nothing but a celebration, a feast of weeks. Just like the religious group, evangelicals split off from the word evangelists. Yes. That's right. Are you getting me? Oh, yes. Yes. But holiness. <laughs> Praise the name of the Most High. That's something that God told us to be. God. And when God tell you to be something, what everybody else say, what everybody else profess, and what everybody else believe have no relevance. 
So I humbled myself. Yes, I did. Took apostolic off. We were first church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. I took it off. Thought I was doing something. I had first church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostles' faith. Mm -hmm. God wasn't through with me. Got rid of that and just had first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Someone said, well, how folks going to know what you believe in? You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The church is his. It is he that says, upon this rock I build my church. It's his church. It's the one church of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the true church from the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can't get around it and everybody got to be born into God's church. Second chapter of the book of Isaiah. Begin at verse 1. Amen. I want to work on the one church. Yes. God only have one church. That's right. Get me, Bills. The building is not the church. Never had been the church. Never will be the church. Amen. The church is named after what's in it. There's a way that God established for you to come into his church. You can't join it. No. You can't shake the preacher's hand and that put you in. No, sir. Uh -uh. You can sign your name on a, on a roll book. That don't put you in. You can pay your dues, too. That don't put you in. No. This is the only church that no man can put you in. Pastor Jennings can't put you in it. Right. Where is a good reader? Anointed God knows. But he can't read you and <laughs> no, throw you no. in the church. No. Unless you follow what he, what he reads. That's right. All right, get me now and follow me. Isaiah chapter 2, we start at verse 1. Yes. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. What is it? And it shall come to pass in the last days. It shall come to And after you read that, I believe I want the second chapter of Malachi. Micah. Or Micah. Because Micah. one scripture says all nations and another scripture says all people. People. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right, follow me. Isaiah chapter 2 and we're at verse 2. Get me, Bills. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house. Who else is it? The mountain of the Lord's house. All right. Just take off your building that your bishop is the founder of the church. That's right. That's right. That's right. It ain't nobody the founder of this church. That's right. no. None of the apostles started the church. That's right. That Jesus chose. Yes. No apostle in the 20th or 21st century can say justifiably that he's the founder of the church. None of them. No. Out of all this work that God is strengthening us to do. I'm not the founder, but yet I'm laying the foundation. That's right. Amen. That's two different things. That's right. Pastor Paul said, I laid the foundation. According to the grace of listen, God, which is listen, given unto listen, me. Listen, because many now mm -hmm. fighting over this founder thing. The old thing. bishop is the founder. The old bishop ain't the founder of nothing. Oh, when you're the founder of something, you the originator of it, and it didn't, it wasn't here until you got it started. That's right. The church from the Lord Jesus Christ was already here before all of us was born. That's right. And God, get me, <laughs> is the only one that can put you in it. That's right. The Bible says you're baptized by one spirit into one body. That's get right. this now. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 10. Listen. According to the grace of God which is given unto me uh -huh. as a wise master builder. What kind of builder? A wise master builder. You know, when God sent you, he gave you wisdom how to build. That's right. Accept the Lord's. Build the, build the house. Ain't that what he said? That's right. Accept the Lord. Accept the Lord. Do it. Build it. Yeah. You, you ain't doing nothing. That's right. That's that's the answer. Accept the to, Lord. We, that, to the results that we're getting. That's right. I'm not building this. God is. That's right. 
Listen at what the prophet says. Psalms 127 and at verse 1. Except the Lord. Unless the Lord. Build the house. Do this work. They labor in vain that build. That's why you don't get no results. That's right. And all the labor that's being done right. result to what? They labor in vain. In vain. That build it. Nothing to it. That's, that's right. Nothing, Nothing to, to it. it. You can preach 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. <laughs> Ain't no way I want to be. I would have been pastoring almost 40 years. Amen. Soon. And three more years, it'll be 40 years. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. I would be embarrassed wow. to stand before the people. Yes. Telling people I've been pastoring for 40 years. And I don't have no more work than I did when I was pastoring five years. That's right. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Except, except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain that build it. I remember the false prophet I was under. He was very small-minded. Hmm. When I began to tell him about the vision God gave me, he said, I could have a large church. Well, anybody can go buy a large building. Yeah. That's right. But it takes God to fill it up. That's right. I don't care what size building you have. If God don't assign you a work. That's it. Am I right, Frank? Amen. You see, you can go out and get mad at a preacher and open up a church. Mm -hmm. That don't mean nothing. No. Oh, no. I want everybody to understand this. Yeah. God have to assign you. That's right. A work. That's right. The reason why we get this results from all around the world, it was a heaven given assignment. That's right. That was given to me. Hallelujah. Given to me. Over. 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 <laughs> 43 years ago. That's right. The assignment was shown to me. Then given to me. That's right. And it's manifesting itself now. Oh, yes. Till God said that the vision is for an appointed time. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. Glory to God, glory to God, and certainly we have waited, and we're still waiting because so much is yet to come. That's right. Go back to Corinthians and hear what Apostle Paul says. Back then in, we go back to the book of Isaiah, then Micah. Back in 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 10. What is it? According to the grace of God which is given unto me. Yes. As a wise master builder. As a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation. Now, Paul didn't say he was the founder. No. No. He laid the foundation that was already founded. <laughs> That's right. Did you see me? That's right. The foundation was already laid. That's right. And Paul told you that in the same writing. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master as builder. As a wise master builder, I, I laid the foundation. I laid some groundwork. And another buildeth thereon. And others came and built. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Why? Verse 11. Uh -huh. For other foundation, other foundation can no man lay. But what? Then that is laid. Wait a minute. Then that is what? Then that is laid. That now. That, <laughs> let, that ruled Paul out. That's right. That's right. He That's said. Right. Other foundation can no man lay than that is laid. Than that which is here. Yeah. Which is Jesus Christ. Who is it? Jesus Christ. That's where all our success come from. That's right. And that's where all our success will always, always. come from. That's right. I had a man write me. I got, I, I'm still playing catch up on mail. <laughs> even from 2019. I got thousands of letters, brother. Thousands. Wow. Amen. Some packages I skipped to try to start from this year and work my way backward. <laughs> Trying to catch up. Ran up on a letter where a man was saying, Hi, Pastor Jennings, I heard that you don't believe in Jesus. He said he got into a dispute with some folks hmm. somewhere and said that they put it out that we don't believe in Jesus. Lord. And he asked him, well, how is it 
if he don't believe in Jesus, all these hundreds of people are getting baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That don't make no sense. That's right. You know, they're willing to say anything. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Not only do we believe in him, I was sent by him. That's right. Not only do we believe in him, <laughs> I was taught by him. That's right. Not only do we believe in him, he revealed his son in me. That's right. That I may preach him among the heathen. <laughs> That's right. And many left. It is written, I confirm not with flesh and blood. That's right. We don't have no other foundation. No. We're building on the same one. Second chapter of the book of Isaiah. Now in Isaiah chapter 2 and at verse 1. That's what? The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in the last days. We're in the last days now. Oh, yes. But we are further in the last days than it was when the apostles was living. That's right. This prophecy wasn't fulfilled when it was spoken. No. It had to be fulfilled, and it was fulfilled when the apostles were here. That's right. In the last days. And it shall come to pass in the last days. That what? That the mountain of the Lord's house. Hallelujah to God. Amen. The mountain of the Lord's house. Of the Lord's house shall be, shall be established in the top of the mountains. It's above everything. That's right. And, and shall be exalted above the hills. Who's coming? And all nations. That's why I don't believe in an all white religion. That's right. And an all black religion. That's right. And an all yellow. I don't care nothing about the cheapness of the color of your old dirty skin. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I don't care nothing about it. No. If you're born plaid, if a woman have a plaid son, a polka dot daughter, and two stripy twins. <laughs> That's right. That would be something. That would be something. <laughs> it'd, it'd, be, it'd be magnificent. It'd be something. <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> but I will tell that quilt pattern family, <laughs> the quilt family. Amen. <laughs> you got to be born again. That's right. Huh? Amen. That's right. Come on to bring your plaid psychedelic tie dye children here so they can go down in water. That's right. And obey what the word of God say. Listen at this. And all nations shall flow unto it. And what? And many people shall go and say. Many people shall go and say. Come ye. Come on. And let us Come go on. up to the Don't mountain of God. the Lord. Come on. That's right. Thank God I'm seeing it being fulfilled. Moreover. Oh, yes. Moreover. Come on. Come on. Amen. I've never seen people so excited in going to church since I've That's been true. going to church. That's true. People were excited. Yeah. Amen. I remember one convention and the security got here, I think, between 6.30 and 7 o'clock on a Saturday or a Sunday morning. And cars was all, the lot was already half filled. Amen. And they couldn't believe it. Amen. Security came and opened the doors. <laughs> They had me laughing. I said, well, Leon, what happened? He said, brother, when they saw us, Pastor Jennings, and we went to open the doors, the moment they saw us park, when we <laughs> unlocked the doors, they was lined up behind us. My Lord. <laughs> Wonderful. Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me. That's right. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be God. It's a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. To be able to come and know you're going to get fed That's God's it. word. That's it. Not mixed with nothing. That's right. Not mixed with opinion. Not mixed with ideology. Not mixed with supposition. Not mixed with the theory of men. That's right. Pure. Pure. Premium scripture. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's wonderful. Glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. That's wonderful. Pure premium scripture. Oh, yes. Thank God we wouldn't have it no other way. That's right. Amen. Nothing like the real thing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Nothing like the real thing and it's taste is choice. <laughs> That's it's right. good to the last drop. Also. Amen. Amen. 
What is that? And many people shall go and say, many Come ye. Many people shall go and say, Come on. And let us go up to the mountain Any of the Lord. Anytime you claim you got a holy message from God yeah. and it can't even resurrect your own town. That's true. Your own city. Yeah. Nobody wake up outside of your country. That's right. I'm not talking about fellowshipping with another church. No. No, no. No, no. no. Or it's that God, I'm Hallelujah. talking about preaching the word of God and God brings souls. That's right. To him. That's it. That's right. I'm not talking about leaving one apostolic church and go to another apostolic church. No, no. I'm talking about digging up a straight, hardcore sinner who ain't never had nothing to do with church. That's right. Pull the drug dealer out. Yeah. Pull the club, hallelujah, the club dweller out. Yes. Pull the pole dancer out. Yeah. Pull the crackhead out. Pull the alcoholic out. That's it. Pull the state store owner out. That's right. So they close down the state store yes. and go out in water. Come on. To God in the name of Jesus Christ. And many people. Many people shall go and say, Come ye. Come on. And let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Glory to God. That's what I'm telling you. Amen. Come on back to the Bible. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come ye. Never want you to go to anything and everything but this. Amen. Thank God this is a strong thing. Yes, it is. You see, the devil here makes you go to the Bible. Yeah. And then drop you in scriptures that's over your head. That's right. The devil will show you every scripture that make you think there's more than one God. That's right. He'll show you the scripture the Lord said unto my Lord. My Lord. Sit down on my right hand. Yeah. He'll show you the scripture. I saw Jesus standing, standing. on the right hand of God. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, show you Matthew 20, 19, baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Anything, Anything. that'll make you disbelieve God is what? That's right. But Satan won't take you to a scripture that he admits is one. That's right. Devil won't take you to that scripture. No. Give me the book of James quickly now. Yeah. He won't take you to that He'll show you every scripture that you don't understand. Cloud your judgment. Make you denounce the truth of God. Make you reject the counsel of God. The Bible said, if thou believe. St. James chapter 2 and verse 19. He won't, the devil won't show you this scripture. Thou believest that. Listen, listen, give chapter and verse again. James chapter 2 and we're at verse 19. Thou believest. That there is one God. There is only one God. Thou doest well. You doing all right. The devils also the believe. The devils. The every, 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 every devil demon that's, that ever was. That's right. The devils also believe that there's one. And tremble. And he gets scared. That's right. He make you believe it's three and you don't even shake. That's right. Hallelujah. The devil make you read Matthew 20 and 19. Mm -hmm. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The devil don't take you to Acts 38 that <laughs> no. fulfills Matthew 20 and 19. Oh, he no. don't take you that. No. So the devil is a misleading spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Guide you wrong. Guide you wrong. He right. don't guide you into all truth. Only God does that. That's right. Satan guides you into some truth yeah. and then mix it with truth and lie. That's right. That's what he does. That's what the serpent is. That's what the serpent. You know, the serpent tongue is split, showing you he's divisive. Yeah. He bring division. He brought truth and lie. That's right. That's what he brought to Eve. Eve. Brought a truth and lie. And, lie. and it shall come to pass in the last days. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house. Shall it happen to it? Shall be established in the top of the mountain. And, and shall be exalted above the hills. What's the result? And all nations shall flow unto it. And, and many people shall go and get them out say, of every nation. That's right. All Many nations. people shall go and say, come ye, come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. You see that? Let's go up to the God's mountain. That's right. To the house of the up. God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. Wait a minute. 
When we go to Jacob's God's house, mm -hmm. what are we going to learn? He will teach us of his ways. When we go to the Lord's house, Amen. what are we going to learn? He will teach us of his ways. His ways. That's what holiness is. That's right. If a man is a thief and he teaches you how to steal, hmm. he's teaching you how to be a thief like him. That's right. If God is holy yeah. and we got to learn his ways, his ways, how you come out a Baptist. That's right. You don't come out a Baptist learning his ways. No. No way. You come out what he is. That's right. Holy God makes holy people. Yeah. Holy God makes holy people. That's right. Here now, holy God makes holy people. That's right. Huh? God want a holy people. That's it. Holy God don't make a Baptist people, a Methodist people, a non-denominational people. No. A holy God don't say be anything you want. You no. all one down inside. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying. Listen at this. In Leviticus chapter 19, we're at verse 1. Said what? And the Lord spake unto Moses saying. Speak unto all the congregation of the, unto children everybody of, Israel, of the children of Israel and say unto them, say to them Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be holy. For I, I the Lord, Lord your God, God, am holy. He want a holy people, a holy people. That's right. Because he's holy. That's it. He don't want nothing else. No. Amen. So because someone got on their building holy church or holy temple or holy sanctified house, that don't make it holy. No. The Bible is plain in the second chapter of the book of Isaiah. And at verse 3. It says what? And he will teach us of his ways. In God's house. That's right. Only the ways of God should be taught. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. Sure. Only God ways. That's right. For me to bring you God ways, I have to come back to the book. That's yeah. right. I have to come to the book. Ain't no need for you to, me to bring my degree to you. A <laughs> no. degree I don't even have. <laughs> That's right. I have to bring you to the book. To the the book. Bible speaks plain here. And he will teach us of his ways. He, God, will teach us. Of his ways. In his house, his ways. His ways. I let you know God is the teacher in the house. That's right. Same thing he told the apostles when he was manifested in the flesh. That's right. He said, it's not you that speaketh, yeah. but the voice of my father oh, yeah. speaketh in you. Speaketh in you. God teach us his ways, his ways through a preacher. That's right. So ain't no need for the preacher to go to school. No. You know why? Why? You want God to teach you his ways, his ways. so you can tell the world God's ways. That's right. That's Did right. you hear? Come, oh, God. Get, you begin at verse 1 again. The word that Isaiah... Chapter the son, verse. Isaiah chapter 2, we're at verse 1. That's what? The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. What is it? And it shall come to pass in the last day uh -huh. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. The Lord's house, the Lord's house. is an exalted place. That's yeah. right. Not with pride, oh, no. not with arrogance, no. but with praise and honor and reverence and service that we render to God. That's right. Exalted, hallelujah. Amen. Exalted. That the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. Of God's church. Shall be established shall be in the established top of the mountain. In the top of the mountain. And shall be exalted that above you know the that hills. The teaching of God's house will elevate you. That's right. Take you up higher. That's it. Eh? That the mountain of the, the Lord's mountain house shall of be the established. Lord's house shall be established. In the top of the mountain. In the top of the mountain. And shall be exalted above the hills. And what happened? And all oh, nations. That guy, he, he gonna get you out of every nation. That's God don't care what color you are. No, sir. He don't care what no, color you are care. at all. That's right. All nations. All nations. Nation. All nations shall flow, shall flow unto it. Unto it. And many people shall go and say. What? Many people shall go and say. God didn't say everybody gonna come. Oh, no. Many people. But many gonna come oh. to it. Many people shall go and say. Many shall go and say. Come ye. Come on. And let us go up. You come on. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right. I don't care what your bishop said. Amen. You come on. That's right. Come ye. 
Come on to God's house. That's it. Leave the false church you're in That's and right. come to God's house. That's right. Every religion under the sun that started by men is the religion of the devil. Oh, yes. You must be what God is. That's right. Otherwise than that, you don't get credit for what you are. That's right. What is it? And many people shall go and say, come ye. Come ye. And let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Who is it? To the house of the God of Jacob. Yes. And he will teach us of his way. And? And we will walk in his paths. The purpose of long of learning his way. Yes. Is that we may do what? And we will walk in his paths. Yes. Amen. My job is to introduce you to the pathway of God. That's right. It's called a highway. That's right. Yeah. That's it. Thank God he said a highway shall be there. And a way. And a way. That's right. And it shall be called. The way. The way of holiness. Of holiness. In Isaiah 35 and not verse ways, 8. Not ways. Not W-A-Y-S. Oh no. No. No, oh, no. 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 God have one way, one church, one people. And we must walk. In his path. In his path. And then what he said? For that's right. What he said, son? Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. What is to it? the house of the God of Jacob. And, and he will teach us of his ways. For what? And we will walk in his path. What else? For out of Zion shall go forth the Lord. Where the word gonna come from? And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Second chapter, the book of Micah. Micah. And then we go on right to Jerusalem. Now before we go to Jerusalem, we gotta go to the forty. Uh, the book of Luke, if you will. Yes. Amen. And let's go to work there mm -hmm. and see when he rose from the dead. Listen. Micah chapter 4, we'll start at verse 1. All right. But in the last days it shall come to pass. Listen at this. But in the last days it shall come to pass yes. that the mountain of the house of the Lord. Wait a minute. And Isaiah said the mountain of the Lord's of house. The Lord's house. But now God move on Micah to say what? That the mountain of the house, of the, of, the house Lord of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountain. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. The language of God is so beautiful. Yes, it is. It's the Lord's house. That's right. And it's the house of the Lord. That's Let you know who owns it. <laughs> Amen. Who owns the house? Who's the head of the house? That's right. The Bible says Christ is the head of the church. The church. And God's house is God's people. That's right. And but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord yes. shall be established in the top of the mountain. And what? And it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. And what? And people shall flow unto it. What else he said? And many nations shall come and say, ha. many nations. Many nations. Shall come and say, come, and let us now, go up. Isaiah said many people going to say it. Mm-hmm. Amen. But the prophet said many people and many nations, many nations shall come. And the other prophet said many, many, people. many people. So I said, well, isn't that a contradiction? No, it takes people to make up a nation. Oh, That's yeah. right. It's the same thing. That's right. So I say God's the same thing. Oh, yeah. What is it? And many nations shall come. And many nations, many shall, nations come, shall come. Shall come. And say, come. Come. And let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. And what? And to the house of the God of Jacob. What else? And he will teach us of his ways. And? And we will walk in his path. And? For the law shall go forth of Zion. And what? And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The book of Luke now. Now in the book of Luke, say Luke chapter 24. And All right, verse, listen at the book of Luke chapter 24, begin at verse 47, Jesus Christ, who was God, yes. manifested in the flesh, amen, justified by the Spirit, seen of angels, preached on to in the world, and received up into glory. Right. God, which was Emmanuel, God with us, right. walked here in the flesh. The flesh was not God, could not be God, never had been God, never will be God, yet the flesh had the title, my Lord. Yeah, right. That's true. Amen. Why was the flesh called Lord? Because the flesh was superior to all other flesh. That's right. He was born in the world without sin. Amen. And but God, the Spirit, laid upon the sacrifice the sins of us all. That's right. So the Son of God or the body of flesh and blood that God was in, that was the Lamb. Yeah. The reason why he was manifested in the flesh, because the flesh took the place 
of all Old Testament offerings. That's right. All he needed was one offering. That's right. And he looked for it yeah. and couldn't find it. Fifth chapter book of Revelation. Revelation 5 and Bible verse says, 1. Heaven was searching, earth was searching. He went down underneath the earth and that was searching. He couldn't find no man worthy to open the book and loot the seven sails thereof. And John said, I wept much, wept much. Because, because no, no man, man was, found worthy was found worthy to open and to read to the book. To read neither the to book, look neither to look at it. And one of the and elders said elder unto me, me, weep not. Said, not the whole the line of the tribe of Judah. Of the tribe of the Judah. root of David. Who is it? The root of David. Who is it? The root of David. What did he do? Hath prevailed to open the book. Hold up! Come on, Jesus. Come on. Root of David. Root of David. For you have a root, you got to have a seed. That's right. The Bible says, have not the scripture says that Christ cometh of the seed of David. David. Out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. David was. And when that seed is quickened, it can't be quickened unless it dies. Right. And when the seed was quickened and the root began to come down, a tender plant came upward. That's right. Who was that tender plant? Tender mean young. Yeah. Yeah. The young represent Jesus being a child. Oh, oh, yeah. a child. God was not a child. That's right. God was in the child. That's it. Are you getting me? That's right. God don't grow. No. Son of God grow. Yeah. The body that God was in grew. Grew. That's right. God know all things. But the Bible said Jesus grew. Grew. In stature. Yeah. And in wisdom. And Jesus increased. Listen. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 2, and verse 52. And Jesus increased. No one says, sound like you're preaching too. No, there's a separation in nature. That's right. Between a human and divine. Yeah. To better understand it, my flesh is a human nature. Yeah. The Holy Ghost that I have is a divine nature. That's true. And the human is separate from the divine. That's right. Let me bring it further. <laughs> God made the human nature from the dust of the ground. Yeah. God breathed his divine nature into Adam. That's right. That's why when you die, he take the divine out. Yeah. And that goes to God. That's right. And the human go back to the dust. That's right. Amen. That's right. What did he say? Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. That's what? And Jesus increased. Jesus. Increase. In wisdom. In wisdom. And stature. And stature. And in favor. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. He got taller. Yes, he did. That's right. It didn't say God got taller. Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. God don't increase in wisdom because he's the only wise God. That's right. But it's showing you the flesh. Yeah. How it's lesser in nature. That's what the word of God say. He was made a little, a little lower than the angels. That's right. Just a little lower. A little lower. Because the body that God put on to redeem us, that nature was flesh, and is a little lower or a little lesser than the nature of spirit. Yet the angels and the Son of Man both were created. But we see Jesus in the book of Hebrews, chapter 2 and verse 9. Did you hear nine. what I'm telling you? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Hebrews 2 and verse 9. But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. Who was made. Who was made. A little lower than the angels. Talking about his body. That's it. Talking about his flesh. That's right. Talking about the son. That's right. Talking about the mediator. Yeah. Talking about the lamb of God. That's talking right. about that thing that John baptized. Yeah. Talking about that thing that walked on water. Yeah. By the power of the spirit. But we Give see Jesus. Verse. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. We see Jesus. Who was made. Not God. No. God wasn't me. That's right. The body that God was in, that was me. That's right. In fact, the Son of God was made by God. That's right. Had a man write me, Pastor Jennings, is Jesus Christ God or the Son of God? Both. Both. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to say what? Oh, yeah. Hey, give me Isaiah 9 and 6. Isaiah 9 and 6. What you talking? He was called Son of God. That's right. By prophecy, and he was addressed by the prophets as God. That's right. Give me Isaiah, Isaiah nine chapter and nine six. and verse six. And, and when I say he's God, that means he's Father. Right. And anybody say he's not the Father, you're saying he's not God. That's right. And anyone said he's not God, you're a blasphemer. That's right. Well, Jesus was a man. That's right, but God wasn't. Yes. That's why great is the mystery godliness. of godliness. That's right. Jesus was a man. That's right, That's but right. God wasn't. Godless. 
I'm going to show you where God was located That's right. in the man. That's right. When you read that, give me Corinthians, Se if Corinthians. you will. That's I right. want to get God's location Amen. within Jesus. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Get me. For unto us a child is born. That's talking about the flesh that Mary birthed. That's yeah. right. Amen. That's right. That's talking about the flesh that Mary birthed. Unto us a, unto us a child is born. Yes. Unto us a son is That's given. That's talking about the flesh that died on the cross. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. I'm talking about the authority that he would have. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Talking about how beautiful, how wonderful his works are. Counselor. And how he's a great counselor. The mighty God. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he's called what? The mighty God. What else is he? The everlasting father. Yeah. The Prince of Peace. Have you ever heard? Look, the Bible's talking about both natures. Both. Because you know his flesh is not everlasting father. That's right. That's right. Come on, Jesus. The everlasting father was here before the son was begotten. That's right. And the father's not a prince. No. Well, someone say, well, how was that? And Jesus Christ is God. Yeah. A prince inherits yeah. authority. Yeah. The father was king. king. The flesh was called prince, for the Bible said they have killed the, the prince, prince of life. Of life. That's right. What did, when you inherit something, somebody pass it down to you. Yeah. What was passed down to God? That's right. Ain't no one passed nothing down to God. He got everything. That's right. God ain't no prince. No. God is king of kings, king of kings. lords of lords, right. and he made a prince, That's and right. the prince took on his name and published the name of God. That's oh, yeah. right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Yes. yes. He was the son of God and God. That's right. Spirit that was in him was God. God. The flesh that had a mother, the flesh was the son of God. Yeah. Mary was the mommy of the flesh. That's right. <laughs> eh? That's right. Amen. I believe the angel told Joseph, take the child and his mother, mother. down to Egypt. Egypt. He didn't say take God and his mother. No. Take the child. Take the child. What child, a child that Isaiah said would be born? And for unto us a child is born. You take that part. You take that nature down to Egypt. That's yeah. right. Because this prophecy talked about that nature. Yeah. And said that a son shall rise out of Egypt. Out of Egypt. And for the son be, to come out of Egypt, it got to be born. That's sure. right. That's right. For sure. Oh, and said, well, if the flesh and blood body of the son of God didn't always exist, what was Jesus before he was called son? Father. Father. He was everlasting, everlasting father. father. And the everlasting father made the prince of peace. That's right. When you say begotten, it got to be born. That's right. Are you getting the old man? For unto us a child For is all born. All of you out there that said Jesus Christ is not the father, you a liar. That's a lie. I preach Jesus Christ as the everlasting father, yes, just like the prophet Isaiah said it. That's right. What did Isaiah say? And his name shall be called Wonderful. Listen, read and the whole thing. For unto us a chapter child. Chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter 9 I want and them verse to follow 6. Me. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. That's what? For unto us a child is born. Child is born. Unto us a son is given. Son is given. And the government shall be upon his what shoulder. What is it? And his name shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty God. Mighty God. The everlasting father. Tell me, did Isaiah lie when he say he shall be called these things. That's right. You don't call God something that he ain't? No. No. We used to sing a song and I had to change the word years ago about God. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything to me. And they used to say he's my father. That's true. Mother lie. <laughs> Sister. No he ain't. No. Brother God ain't a brother to nobody. Yeah. You can't give God a title that he didn't give himself. That's right. God ain't never had a female title since he's been God. No. He's nobody's sister. He's nobody's mother. No. So we had to cut that out. That's right. Because it's not the truth. Yeah. I was saying a lie. Yeah. He's everything to you. He ain't my mama. <laughs> and he ain't no sister. No. And he ain't no aunt. 
No way. And God ain't my brother. That's right. God is Father. Father. That's right. The Bible says, have we not all one Father? One Father. Have not one God created us. That's it. All right, go back to the book of Luke. So much is coming to my mind now. Now in Luke, Saint Luke chapter 24 and verse 47. Luke 24, 47. And that repentance and remission of sin. Now Jesus died on the cross. And rose the third day by the power of the Spirit. That's right. And the Spirit that came in the body of flesh and bones took the place of the blood that he lost on the cross. That's right. And when he took the place of the blood, now the flesh and bone body become glorified by the power of the Spirit of God, rise it up the third day. And appeared to his apostles That's right. to give them some more teaching. Yeah. That's right. Wasn't finished teaching yet. That's right. Right. That's right. Because the understanding wasn't open until. Then opened he their understanding. Do you hear this? In St. Luke 24 and verse 45. He had to die and come back. Right. Begin at verse 44. These are the words that I spake unto you while I was here with you. That all things must be fulfilled. That are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their understanding. You see that? Amen. Then. Even when he was walking here on earth, yeah. there were things in the Psalms wasn't fulfilled yet. When he was walking the earth. That's right. He was bumping up against scripture. Yeah. Every move he made, bump up against scripture. That's right. Before he died, Psalms cried out through David. Yeah. My God, my God, where has thou forsaken me? Well, he had, to, he had to get there. That's right. David was talking about the cross. Jesus had to get there. Right. It didn't matter how much Jesus would have prayed, let this cup pass. It wasn't moving. No. He could have prayed all he wanted. It wasn't moving. That's right. Because the Spirit already spoke. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from hearing the roaring of my mouth? Jesus was asking the eternal spirit or the flesh and blood was crying out to the spirit to escape death. That's right. And he didn't get an answer. Right. So he gave in and gave up and gave over and said, not my will. That's right. Another word, I may as well stop praying. <laughs> That's right. I may as well stop praying and I ain't going to get no answer. That's right. Because prophecy already had him locked in. Yeah. Now, if he couldn't break prophecy, what about you? Oh, yes. Prophecy is not broken yeah. unless God make a change. That's right. Someone said, God changed prophecy? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't have time to dive into all that, but I just throw this at you. Uh, he said he, would, he was prophesied that Nineveh would be destroyed. Nineveh humbled himself. He changed prophecy and didn't destroy it. That's right. All right, that settles that. <laughs> that settles that. I mean, that's quick done in the area. He, 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 he didn't destroy it. He, he said he was going to do it. And remember, he said, I'm a God that changed mm -hmm. not, yet he changed. That's right. So I said, well, don't that contradict? No, he changed his mind, but he didn't change from being God. Right. But he said, I'm a God that changed not, for this cause the sons of Jacob won't be consumed. That means whatever I do, whatever decisions I make, it will never change me from being God, but he has eternal freedom to Go change ahead. his mind. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. When somebody died and God raised them from the dead, he changed his mind. That's right. I want you to live now. That's right. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Lazarus died. God killed him. For God said, I kill. I kill. God changed his mind and come back. Lazarus, come forth. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He don't change Hallelujah. from being God. Right. But he can change his eternal mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He can plan to bring judgment. Yeah. And then look at how you humble yourself. Hallelujah. And start crying out to him. Hallelujah. Turning your plate down and fasting and prayer. Yeah. And then God withdraw his judgment. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah! Yeah. It was God's judgment. That's right. What prayer? That's right. Reach him. Go ahead. Prayer reached him. Prayer reached him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. That's what Nineveh did. That's right. Nineveh went down in sackcloth and in ashes. Wouldn't even feed the animals. Yeah. Because God's word went out. That's right. I'm going to destroy everything. Destroy everything. I'm going to destroy it. Yeah. Even the king set in sackcloth yes. and in ashes. Yes. Don't tell me prayer can't change God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. I'm a witness. Hallelujah. I'm a witness. Hallelujah. Amen. I was in uh, Mobile, Alabama. Marriage couple came to me. Thank God. Been going back and forth to the doctors trying to have a child. They sat and talked to me. They said, Pastor Jennifer, tried everything. I asked him, did you try God? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Wife broke down crying. She said, I prayed and prayed and prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Husband was there. He said, Pastor Jennifer, I don't know what to do. I said, come here, both of you. That's right. That's Amen. Right. I brought them before God. Laid hands on a stomach and pulled on heaven. Hallelujah! Go and take off. Help! Pull on heaven! Amen. Hallelujah. I was in a location this year. I forgot where I was. And they came and knocked on the office door. I said, Yeah, come in. And then Pat Jenner want to show you something. Baby, come wrapped. Go and take off. He said, God did it. Brother, Hallelujah. Go and take off. Hey, God, I said. Wonderful. God is faithful. Oh, yes. Amen. I don't care how many men and women come together. It takes God to get in there. That's right. And start his creating power. That's right. Huh? That's right. God can crank up. And get started oh, yes. when men and women can't see anything. That's right. Ain't nobody can tell me nothing different. I see this stuff written and I'm experiencing it firsthand. Oh, Wonderful. Yeah. He came on back the third day. That's right. And told his witnesses that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Should be preached in his name, among and his name is nations. Jesus. That's right. And he is the Christ among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And what and, did he tell the apostles? And ye are witnesses of these things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are witnessing witnesses. something beautiful here. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. I mean, we are witnessing something beautiful here. That's, that's right. Thank God, I, I, I would to God you can see it the way we do. He says what? And that repentance and remission of sins. Shall be preached in his name among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. And what? And you are witnesses of these things. And behold. I send the promise of my father upon you. And the you. promise is the Holy Ghost, but do what? But tarry Wait! in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. What did he do? And he led them out as far as the And lift up his hands. And blessed them. And blessed them. And it came to pass while he blessed while them. While he blessed them. He was parted from them and carried up into heaven. He ascended. That's One right. One scripture says he ascended above all heaven. That's right. All right, now let's go to the second chapter of the book of Acts. Acts he come two. on and taught the apostles when he was here in the flesh. That's he right. died, fulfilled prophecy. He rose, fulfilled prophecy, and taught them some more. Yes. He ascended above all heavens. Thank God, which fulfilled prophecy. Now on the day of Pentecost, because they were commanded to go to Jerusalem. Go to, yeah. That's right. Sure. Go to Jerusalem. Behold, I sent the promise of my father. Out of Zion, the law went forth, but the word of the Lord from, from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. From Jerusalem. Now let's go right to Jerusalem. Thank God. God, where the word of God was preached and where the church started. Acts chapter 2, we're at verse 38. Begin at verse 2. Acts chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. When the feast of weeks took place, there was all. With one accord with in one, one place. one accord in one place. And suddenly. There was, if you ain't got it like it's written here, you may as well hang your hat up. That's right. If you don't have the Holy Ghost like what he's reading here, That's you right. might as well forget what you have. Right. Don't profess it. Don't claim it. Yeah. Don't do nothing mm -hmm. unless it's lying up 100% like it's written here. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, what happened? they were all with one accord in one place. Then what? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven 
as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto and them appeared cloven, to them tongues, cloven like tongues like as a fire. Like what? Like as a fire. Thank God like fire. And it sat upon each of them. And it got on them. each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. What happened to and them? And began to speak with other tongues. Wait a minute. They was filled with the Holy Ghost. And what came out of them? And began to speak with other tongues. When the Holy Ghost filled them. Amen. Filled them on the inside. That's right. What came out of them? And began to speak with other tongues. Who gave it? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Who was uttering out of them? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Yes. No, Hallelujah. the apostles count to three. One, two, three, and then they start speaking. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Yes. That's right. No, some false prophet ran a revival in Jerusalem and said, when I count to three, you all going to start speaking. As the Spirit gave them utterance. This thing got to come from the Spirit. That's right. What if God said the body without the spirit is what? Dead. 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 Sure. Somebody fuss with me about speaking in tongue and say, you always talk about speaking in tongue. Are you saying there's no other gifts? You ain't never heard me say there's no other gifts. No, there's plenty that. of gifts by the spirit. That's right. By the same spirit. The same spirit. Uh, all these other gifts, that's all right. But you got to have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. That's a gift. That's right. That comes from God. From God. That's right. Yeah. And they were all. You may not speak in tongue as much as someone else. No. How often you speak, that's not it. That's right. It's speaking when, when that thing come in, in you. you. Listen, it come in and it bursts out. That's right. That the Bible says as rivers, hallelujah, rivers of living, of living water. water. That's right. This speak here of the Spirit. That's right. For the Holy Ghost had not yet been given because Jesus had not yet been glorified. glorified. But after his glorification, he ascended above all heavens, sent the Holy Ghost down there in Jerusalem, right. and they all began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. As the Spirit, Spirit gave the utterance. That's, that's it. Not Hallelujah. some preacher get up and say, when I count to three, everybody going to speak one, two, three, like a church full of auctioneers. <laughs> That's right. Thank God. When I was seeking the Holy Ghost in 1974, amen, I was 11 years old. Wonderful. In the sixth grade mm. is when my Savior came. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Filled me with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I came through speaking in other tongues yes. as the Spirit, Spirit gave them utterance. Spirit. Not this modern junk. That's controlled by Bishop. That's right. This thing is done by the Spirit of the Living God. That's right. That's right. They speak how? And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with, with other tongues. Other tongue is another language. That's right. Other tongue is another language. Yes. As what? As the Spirit gave them utterance. All right. They was born of the spirit right there. Right there. But Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born of the water and spirit. So they got the spirit. Right. Yeah. They received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Right. But Peter wouldn't let, let them get away at all. No. Because he remembered the teachings of Jesus. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. Begin at verse 36. At verse 36. What is it? Therefore, let all the house of Israel know it. How much of Israel? All the house of yeah. Israel. Everybody. 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 You want to call yourself a Hebrew Israelite? Be my guest. Hmm, that's right. But yeah. you still, you're going to still have to come and accept the name of Yahashua HaMashiach in water. That's right. In water. That's right. Amen. Amen. Somebody wrote me and asked me about Yah, the name Yah. Pastor Jennings, the, the, the name Jesus, given the book of Revelation, Abaddon and Apollyon. Quickly. Yeah. The God, Jesus' purpose for us to call him by the name of Yahashua. And then he said, where did the title, where did the name God come from? God is a title. God ain't a name. That's right. You know, they always like to play upon words. So the gentleman wrote me and said, is it wrong to be baptized and say Yahashua HaMashiach? I said, no. All no. you did was say the name of Jesus Christ in the Hebrew language. That's right. 
But do you actually think God, who made all languages and made all races, do you think that he is ignorant? <laughs> he didn't make, if God wanted everyone to say his name in Hebrew, he would have made everybody to understand Hebrew. That's right. He wouldn't have had nothing but one Hebrew world. Right. Let me show you how warped your thinking is. Give me the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 9. Quickly. At verse 11. What is it? And they had a king over them. They had a king over them. Which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Which is the angel of the bottomless pit. And it Who? ain't God. No. Uh -huh. Whose name in the Hebrew tongue. Wait a minute. Whose name in the Hebrew language. Is Abaddon. Is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue. But when the Greeks talk about the same devil. Hath his name Apollyon. As, as the Greeks call the devil Apollyon, mm -hmm. and the Hebrews call him Abaddon. Abaddon. Right. Still the same devil. Right. That's right. So when you talk about God, That's right. when you say Yahashua HaMashiach, I'm with you. Yeah. When you say Isa, I'm with you. When you say Jesus, I'm with you. That's right. When you say the name of Jesus Christ, I'm still with you. Still with you. That's Are right. you listening? That's right. Amen. So you can't run around that. <laughs> you can say his name in whatever language that you can speak. Yeah. I can't say his name in German. No. I don't know it. And some folk criticize my English. That's all right. My <laughs> good broken English can say Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got that. Got that. I don't care if I sound slow. Jesus Christ. You got that? Still got it. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, I can stand in the water and be slow. That's but right. if I call the right name, baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I got you. I got you. That's right. Hey, Amen. Amen. Acts 2.38 says. Acts 2.38. I want to slap you over and pick you back up with Bible. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's what you need to do, human family. That's it. The church started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. And Jesus told Nicodemus, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter in. Right. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the spirit, you're filled with the spirit, from the spirit, by the spirit, speaking in another tongue as the spirit of God to give utterance. That means as God calls as one to speak. That's right. As God calls you, if he calls you to speak much mm -hmm. or calls you to speak little. Still have to be as the Spirit give, give utterance. the utherance, whether right. he make you utter long for hours or make you utter short, short. for minutes. It have to be as as the Spirit give as utterance. the Spirit give utterance. That means as God function through you. That's, That's right. That's right. Right then, no preacher should be able to turn you off or turn you on. That's right. Huh? Amen. Listen. Then Peter said, Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. That's what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. This is how you baptize. Yes. Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled in Acts 2, 38. That's right. Everybody here that were baptized in the preacher quoted the words of Jesus. Yeah. And said, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Take you down in water and bring you up. But yet, don't say the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It ain't none of you baptized right. That's right. None of you. That's right. I didn't say some of you. I said none of you. Amen. It ain't none of you baptized right, That's right. at all. The preacher can put you in the water and keep saying over you, name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hold you down there till you come up like a prune. <laughs> you know, you sit in water long enough, you get wrinkled. Amen. Amen. He can bring you up and treat you like a dried pepper. That's interesting. <laughs> but if the name, the name don't be called, yes. you're not baptized. That's right. You're not baptized. There's some fella who's over the air. I forgot his name. Something Junior, Willie Junior, whatever he is. He said that Pastor Jen is a cult leader. He's a devil. And every time someone says something good about the message, he, he, he or she or it. <laughs> well, tell them you're going to be in hell with Pastor Jennings because he don't he, he's telling you he's contradicting Matthew 28, 19. You wish. Listen to what I'm telling you. Everybody who were baptized 
And the preacher said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, none of you were baptized right. That's right. None of you no. obeyed Jesus. That's right. Not your pastor, not your Jerry Curl head reverend, not your slick head apostle, not your ponytail wearing deacon, not your bang wearing elder. That's right. Not your finger wave pastor. None of you were baptized. None of you. Nowhere. Nowhere. Glory to God unless you come back and do it exactly like it's written here. That's right. Matthew 20, 19 was not done in Matthew 20, 19. No. Instructions was being given. That's right. It wasn't done until the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem where it was fulfilled. It was put into action. Put in action. Listen at this. Acts 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Now, you got this to do. You got some repenting to do because you're of the devil. <laughs> Who? All of you. You're of the devil. Your mama's of the devil. Your daddy's of the devil. Your boyfriend is of the devil. You just woke up this morning next to the devil. That's right. Living together, not married. With, with someone that's of the devil. Yes. Your children is of the devil. Look at them. Wow, foolish, smoking, drinking, gambling, playing a number, yeah. killing each other, murdering, lying, swearing, hanging out all night. That's right. You're of the devil. devil. You're of your father, the devil. The churches are of the devil. The bishops, the pastors, mm. the churchgoers, the followers are of the devil. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why you don't like me because I come tell you what you are. <laughs> You're of the devil. Of the devil. You talking to me, Pastor Jennings? Are you looking at me? Yes, that I'm talking to you. You're of the devil. Of the devil. If you watch me in your car, you're of the devil driving. Walking around your house in your drawers or nightgown. You're half naked, but you're of the devil. Still of the devil. Amen. That's right. Listen at this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Do what? Repent. You see, God wants you to be sorry, hypocrite, because you're so wicked. Yeah. You're so wicked. Some of you get baptized and go out there in a false church. Go right to the false church you came from and say, well, I got the right baptism. You're still lost. Still lost. You just can't get baptized and run out to a false church where you come from. No. Once you got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, do you not know you made an agreement to stay with God? What shall we say then? The Bible says in the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. And at verse one. What, what shall, shall we, we say then? then? Shall, shall we, we continue stay, in shall sin? Shall we stay in sin? That grace may abound. What did God say? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not do that so many of us. Do you not know that so many of us. As were baptized into Jesus Christ. As were baptized into Jesus Christ. Were baptized into his death. We were baptized for the death. Therefore. Therefore. We are buried with him. We are buried with him. By baptism, by baptism into death. Into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory Just of the like Father. Just like when Jesus rose from the dead. He had a new life. He had a new body. Even so, we also should walk. We should walk. In newness of life. You go down and come up. You come up new. That's right. Because your sins is washed away. That's it. Huh? That's right. The sin that you inherited from birth is washed away. And the sins, plural, that you done, that's washed away. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jen, suppose I sin after I baptize. Do I have to go back in water? No. From that day forward, you got to repent of all your sins That's right. consistently. That's right. Amen. Yeah, I'm glad you ain't got to keep going back because if you did, you would never get out the water. Amen. Because you're doing something every day. That's right. Either you're doing something or thinking something or feeling something. Ain't no need to get out the water. You might as well just stay there, bring your table there, bring all your books there. Bring your clothes there and get dressed wet and don't ever get out. That's right. Amen. Amen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. I'm talking to you, viewers. Oh, yes. You got this to do. Yes. The Bible said all nations shall flow unto all it. All nations. So we want to bring you to God's house because we're teaching you God's all ways. Yes. So you can walk in God's path. That's right. God's path. God's path is a holy highway. Oh, that's yeah. right. It is written, a highway shall be there, and a way shall be called the way of holiness. holiness. That's what God has. That's yeah. right. Holy sanctification. Yeah. Sanctified and holy. That's it. I mean, you're set apart for the pleasure of God, the work of God, the goodness of God, the service of God, the thanking of God, the obedience yes. of God, the reverence mm. towards God. That's right. You want to be sanctified and holy. Oh, 
That's right. Anytime you agree to be sanctified, you have agreed to die out to your will. Oh, yes. Amen. You made a pact the moment you repent of your sins. Oh, yes. And go down in water, you have agreed to die. I'm not talking about going to the natural grave. No. I'm talking about you agreed to die to your foolish, wild, hellish <laughs> will. That's right. Anything that will give your flesh life, yeah. mm. you agree to give into the word so the word can give it death. That's right. You won't die overnight. For it is written, you killed all the day long. All the day long. That's why you got to have a preacher that's a, a, a good marksman. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, I'm a Bible marksman. Oh, yes. Don't miss you either. No. Huh? No, no. I know sometimes you run, but these bullets make curves. <laughs> Amen. That's right. These bullets go round the corner. Eh? That's right. One scripture says, eh, you shall be shot and wounded. Shot and wounded. You don't have to run straight for us to hit you. Nah, brother. You can run and dodge in and out. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Hey, man, you can dodge in and out. The bullet, the bullet go right where you go. <laughs> you can duck, hide, hit the ground. Uh -uh -uh -uh. No, sir. That's right. One thing about these scriptures, they don't work like that. You duck and they missed you. Oh, no. Oh, no. You shall be shot. And wounded. 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 You turn the corner, when you look, here come that bullet. <laughs> Jump in your car, bullet right there. That's right. Take off, bullet right there in you. Right there. When you get married, it hits you while you're at the altar. Amen. Amen. It hits you and it hits your girlfriend out there that you're waiting so you can divorce your wife. Yeah. Amen. Over right. to God. The holy book says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Are you going to repent or are you going to remain a sinner? Repent. Hiding under the title of Christian. Mm -hmm. Because you claim you're a Christian, that don't prove nothing. <laughs> you got this to obey. Are you listening to me, viewer? That's right. Don't let the devil make you focus on how I sound and then you get mad. You was an arrogant sounding thing. <laughs> you call me whatever you like. Whatever you like. Your house is on fire. You want the firemen to say, Hello. <laughs> Hello, here, here's a house just blazing all up on the ceiling, all up on the wall, roof caving in. You want the fireman be out there? Hello, hey, hey, everybody. You, you better run for safety. That's one time if the fireman cuss at you to get out, you don't care. That's right. He can call you everything. Get you out of there. Amen. I come with the name of the Lord and the Lord. brick you with the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. I pick up the brick of the scripture and crush your skull. That's yes. Amen. Knock you clean over. Oh, yeah. And do it repeatedly. Yeah. I mean, even while you're laying there, I still stone you with Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. Stone you with Bible. While you're running to the water, I stone you with Bible. Yeah. Feel it hitting you in the back. Amen. When you come out the water, stone hits you when you come up. Boom. Ugh. Well, what was that for, Pastor Jennings? I want you to know you got some more to obey now. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Got some more to obey. Go ahead, brother. Come on back. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on back, I said. Amen. Oh, if take God, you might as well come on back to the Bible. That's right. Young man, young woman, you out here like a fool living like the child of the devil that you are. Yeah. Only the reason why you still breathing and God didn't use the virus to cut you off yeah. because he's giving you some more time. Sure. Just a little bit more time. Yes. So you viewers that are still living. Hey Amen. We're on, we on our way, Missouri, Kansas City and St. Louis. We're on our way, Cincinnati and Cleveland. We're on our way, Las Vegas, Nevada, and oh, yeah. Seattle, Washington, and California. Amen. And uh, so we, we, we're just on our oh, way. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. We have a gospel that's God-given. That's, right. that's giving you a chance now. Holiness is the message for the last days, nothing else. Oh, yeah. That get-rich prosperity trash ain't a message for the last days. That's a message to brainwash you to send you to hell. That's right. You can have all the money you want. You doubt without God where you think you're going. Yeah. 
you sick black religions and you crazy white religions. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? That's right. When you die, you go to the dust like everybody else, white man, black man. That's right. Hey, man, some of you go hear a preacher because he looked like you. <laughs> That's where some sick folks are. Yeah. Go hear a white preacher because they feel as though if he's white, he's honest. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, so go, and, uh, go hear a black preacher because he, if you go hear a black preacher, he'll sing the old hymns of the South. <laughs> I wouldn't care if you're so black until folks get you mixed up with the street itself. Yeah. They think the street got up and walked and came in the house. <laughs> Act the street. What you doing here? If you're so white, they look like a Pillsbury Doe man cousin if he got one. <laughs> this is what you better do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Come on, white man. Come on, black man. Come on, yellow, brown, pink, yeah. burgundy, right. green, gray. That's right. That's right. You got this to do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And do what? And be baptized. Woman, please don't think you're too fine to, to be saved. No. You ain't too fine to burn in hell. That's right. Just think when you're at the stove cooking chicken, when that grease hits you, look how you act. Woo! That's true. Mm. That's true. You rub it and get healing. You can't do that in hell. No. When that first woo start, it won't stop. Oh, no. Amen. Brother, you may think you're God's gift to every woman out here. Yeah. She can run her fingers through your hair or the reasonable facsimile thereof. <laughs> she can plait your hair so you can look like a sissy. That's right. Amen. 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 You can steal her bobby pins. That's what men doing now. That's what they're doing now. Wearing their girlfriend and their wife and their mama bobby pins. Putting rollers in their hair. Yeah. You know, back in the 70s, that was the thing. That's right. Men was putting rollers in their hair in the 70s. Yeah. When you men in the day so full of pride, you got men. You know they got uh, hair straightening brushes for men? Yeah. Mm. Man, hot brush. For women, they had hot comb for years. Wow. Hey Amen. Burning your head out full of pride and of the devil. That's right. And then you get these men plug a hot brush up. <laughs> Why? They want to comb waves in their hair. If your yeah. hair ain't naturally wavy, leave it the way God have it. That's right. If your hair is naturally wavy, that's the way God have it. That's the way he But it. you want to do all this type of stuff because you got full of hair pride? Yeah. You're going to hell for that hair pride. That's right. Men and, women. men and women. You know, most preachers preach it on women. Yeah. It's a men and women thing. That's right. Dye your hair, hair pride. Hair pride. Plat your hair, hair pride. Still hair pride. Amen. 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 Burning your hair out with that old hot comb. Hair pride. Hair pride. You sick men with your feminine action got a hair hot brush. I don't care if you're a barber. You should not be putting that in nobody's hair that you cut or you are promoting that which is against God. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know, a lot of folks say, I didn't hear him preach certain things in several years. He must change. That's the devil in you that want me to change. That's right. Two plus two will remain till you die. Amen. Still going to be four. Still four. I shouldn't have to keep telling you every year it's four. <laughs> Five years later, Pastor Jennings, what's two plus two? Oh, it's still four. Hey, I'm 105. Pastor Jennings, what's, plus, what's two plus two? Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Still four. Still four. <laughs> my teeth, my teeth may be all gone, but. Yeah. Move on. Let's amen. You gonna come back to Bible? That's right. I don't give two cents who you are. That's right. You don't need for no brother striving to be holy to go get that sponge, and you ain't got much hair like the barbers have. That got sponge got the holes in it. Put it in your head to make it like you got little peas in your head. That's right. Get that trash out of here. Out of That's here. hair pride. Amen. I 
and you are go to hell, God knows. Oh, yes. You don't spray no dye in your hair. You don't brush no dye in your hair. That's right. You don't put no dye in your hair. Yeah. You die with it in there. The hell you going to lift up your eyes That's right. when you've been taught. Yeah. God say honor the hoary head and then you cover up the gray. Yeah. Who you trying to impress? You want some man out there? Hmm. Who you trying to impress? You want some woman out there? Go ahead. I don't care if my hair get white as a pulpit. I never die it. Wonderful. That's right. I ain't trying to impress nobody. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenny, you won't look the same to us. What do I care? That's right. I'm not in here for looks. Oh, no. I'm in here to tell you what's right to keep your britches out of hell. Yes. Thank you. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Thank you. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. What if God says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. You might as well get busy right now. Right now. Come out of your churches. Who? All of them. That's right. Pack up and get out. That's right. You stop wasting your time playing organs and drums and horns and tamarings and pack a lacking, pack a lacking, pack a lacking. Beating cymbals and trombones and saxophones. Come on, you going to heaven anyhow. The closer to heaven many of you will get is when you get on a plane. Yeah. That's true. Get right on the plane. And that may take you where you don't want to go. <laughs> then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What I look like getting a hot brush to put waves in my hair. Yeah. I wear my hair very low. My hair is very straight. You wouldn't know it because I wear it low. Right. But it's very straight. But I ain't going to try to change it. Oh, no. Right. Mm -mm. Well, I like trying to twist my hair. What am I going to twist? Oh. Twist it. My scalp. <laughs> Twist my scalp. Look like I got a hornet nest on my head. Skin all beat it up. Beat it up. Every time the devil come out with something to make men look like fools. That's yeah. right. That's true. When you want to be right with God, his law rules supreme. Oh, yeah. Amen. If you wear t-shirts with something printed on it, you better advertise nothing that's of the devil. That's right. If you design sneakers, you better not... Print nothing on it that endorsed the devil. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's you right. a car builder. You better not have nothing on there that promote evil. That's right. We don't put rubber fake men testicles on the exhaust pipes of our trucks. Oh, no. That's right. That's right. We don't have dice hanging from the mirror. Why? Holy! Holiness. Holiness. Some of you brothers that got all these psychedelic socks on, looking like you represent the League of Nations, tone that stuff down. What it look like if the women came in here with their stockings like that? That's if the true. women's stockings are required to be modest, what about you, brother? That's right. If you got a tie with color, that's enough. Yeah. What are these psychedelic tie-dye looking socks? <laughs> Be modest. That's right. Modest of power. You stop representing the League of Nations. That's right. Modest of power. That's Only right. Only men don't be wearing red shoes, red sneakers. Conservative blue suit, blood red socks. Mm. Imagine Pastor Jennings. Blood red socks. Blood red socks. Keep it modest. That's the doctrine. That's the doctrine. That's God's law. That's the power. Get all these psychedelic flag wearing socks off your ankles and come on back to modesty. Modest. I don't give two cents to you all. I mean it. That's right. I mean, that goes for my sons. Kick that mess and throw it in the trash. All of it. Go ahead, and I man. get on the organ with it, drums in it. Don't even suck soda out of a straw with it. <laughs> Come on, Jane. You represent the faith. Modesty if the power. women's stockings are required to be modest, then modesty goes for you too. That's right. If the Bible commands the women to be dressed Mod modest, modest from head to toe, it ain't no exceptions with us. No. 
Now you can't make it look like the brothers get away with anything. No, sir. That's right. That's right. Bible said, let us all walk by the same mm -hmm. what? Rule. Get these Justice League Wonder Woman socks off of you. <laughs> this psychedelic mess look feminine. Imagine a bunch of six or seven, eight hundred men. Look down at the ankles with all these feminine looking socks. Amen. Pink circles, yellow circles, gold circles, purple rain. Purple. Go ahead, man. Get that feminine looking trash out the church. Go Get ahead. It out. Go ahead. And don't bring it back. Who? Nobody. Nobody. Amen. Go ahead, man. When I look at brothers from head to toe, I want to see holy. You do not even appear to be feminine. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Don't even appear. You ain't got no leader that got a feminine appearance. Go ahead. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Go ahead. Get that psychedelic trash and throw it in the trash. Pay attention to the book of bylaws. I keep telling y'all, read it. That's why you got it. That's right. You've been in the faith 10, 20 years? Mm. One scripture says, let not the king say so. <laughs> That's right. Look how long Brother Bo been out the church. Yeah. And God bless him to come back. Yes. But even out, he know what I stand for. That's right. And you've been in the church and ain't been out. And you walk around here like you don't know what I stand for. You need me to come behind grown men to tell you what kind of socks to wear. Amen. And you a grown man. Amen. What do you think I'm preaching for? Preach it, if you've been paying attention, you sit right in church and don't pay attention to nothing. Go ahead, man. Get that psychedelic Beetlejuice looking <laughs> junk and throw it in the trash. Don't even wear it to work and don't even wear it at nowhere. Throw it in the trash. Amen. You're supposed to represent holiness in and out of church. That's right. I'm right. It is all right. <laughs> you will never find me in red socks, pink socks, yellow socks. <laughs> socks that look like they've been plugged up overnight. Like I'm Shazam. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hey, man. Go ahead. The brothers can get away with it and they justify the women. Good. Yes, it would. That's right. It would. Hey, man. Hey, man. If your sock got to print, let it be modest. Right. It ain't got to be outrageous. That's right. Your sock shouldn't look like the logo. Your socks should look like First Church logo. I'm telling the truth of it. That's right. Give me the book of Timothy. First Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 9. Says what? In like manner also that women adorn themselves How? in modest apparel. Modest. Modest. Amen. Hone modest. it down. Modest. Modest apparel. With what? With shamefacedness. And yeah, 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 yeah. Hold it. Shame faces. Shame faces. When you talk to a brother, you ain't eyeball them. Mm -hmm. Shame faces. When you talk to a brother, you look away sometimes. Mm -hmm. Shame faces. Not like you in a trance. <laughs> and his eyes is not below his navel. That's right. Shame faces. Modest. Modest pants ain't hugging your Modest. thighs and all between the crouch of your legs. Modest, I said. Modest apparel. That's right. Your overseer don't come in here dressed like that? No. I never, I never did and never will. All right. That's right. You look at me, you don't get me mixed up for me and my wife. <laughs> no, no way. You see my wife, you can tell the difference. That's right. That girl is packing. <laughs> Am I right, I said? When you see her, you don't say, I was passing Jenny. Oh, no, that ain't. No. No, no mix up. Amen. Amen. Put together like a thick piece of leather. Amen. Wonderful. 
Amen. 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 You don't get that mixed up with Pastor Genesis. No. That's right. Amen. If she put on a dress and my suit is similar in color, but it won't be similar in pattern. Right. There are certain patterns that are just feminine. That's right. That's right. A printed tie is one thing. But if the whole suit is like that, now you're going to a whole different realm. Right, right. If I had on a bow tie, print, like my wife dress, wave your hand, Sister Jenny, so you can see, see your arm. If I had a bow tie like my wife dress, that's different. Right. Imagine if I came in with an entire suit. A suit like that. Like a dress. Like a, that's right. Like I'm a rock star. Yeah. Let us use good judgment. Good judgment. That's right. Amen. Amen. The book says. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Your socks got to print. Keep it modest. Modest. Don't let it look like their logo. That's right. Big old yellow spots, orange spots, green spots, like a bottle of bleach that fell on them and ruined your stocks. <laughs> modest. Modest apparel. Orange, uh, orange socks? Orange. On a man? That's true. No tight suits at all. That's right. If you're gaining weight and you can't afford a bigger suit, then wear what you have. But if it's too tight and you know it's too tight, even if you're a musician, sit down. Don't play nothing. Sit down. Don't get up and conduct praise service either. Amen. Don't be conducting no praise service. You look like Ringo Starr. Like you, one of the beaters about to stand up here flying with your yellow submarine. Submarine. You should be able to sit down without putting stress on your pants. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Yes, sir. Ain't nothing wrong with your pants being slim. Fine. Ain't nothing wrong with your pants being slim. Right. But you shouldn't put stress on your pants. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. I ain't no stress on none of my clothes. Nope. <laughs> I don't believe in that. When I sit down and I'll stand up, I don't want none of my pants to backslide. In other words, I should not have to fight when I get home to get out my pants. Get out. That's right. Even when I take my shoes off, I got to lay back on the bed and keep jump, trying to get out my pants? And I'm a man? Man. No! That's right. That's too tight. We ain't got no male go-go dancers here. These lights ain't psychedelic. Psychedelic light go-go dancers. You gonna go-go to hell. Keep it modest. Modest the power. I said before, I say again, we believe in old-fashioned holiness. Oh, yeah. Not That's this right. modern trash that comes in church and corrupt you. That's right. Keep it modest. modest. Whether you're modest. in church or out. Acts 38 says what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Lord's name. The name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. And what? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Anybody Lord. want to obey God and escape the flames of hell and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ the right way? Stand on your feet if you want to be right today. Stand on your feet now. Glory to God. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, come on around to the back. All of you that are standing, follow them brothers and follow them sisters. They're coming out of their churches, aren't they? Amen. This is the message that God brought. Thank God. It is good, Frank. We don't want you to slip off right. into the wrong path. Oh, no. That's right. Brother Jennings should not have to say something. All you got to do is pay attention 
to the years of preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Even television viewers know that we have been consistent. That's right. And preaching the word of God, and you got to strive to be consistent in obeying the word of God. That's right. All right. Be back this evening. Now, some of you got a Sunday morning spirit, and you had it too long. And you go home and just do nothing. Ain't got to go to work. I understand if you got to go to work. I understand that. Right. If you got to go to work tonight. But if you ain't got to go to work, give me the book of Hebrews. I believe 1025. 1025. This is a warning to you that got this morning spirit. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. God warn you. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Don't forsake to come together. As the manner of some is. As some have already done. But exhorting one another. I'm exhorting you now. And so much the more. Wait a minute. Do it how? So much the more. As you Do it how? So much the more. Come more. Why? As ye see the day approaching. Don't go home and just sit around in the evening. You ain't got to work. You ain't got to work that night. Make it your business. Come back to the house of God. Oh, yeah. Make it part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Don't wait till a convention come around and then you stay all day doing a convention. We don't serve a convention, God. Why do you think I'm pounding by God help for you to understand? God is first. God is first. If you can leave a job in the morning and then go back to that job that night, you may complain, but you want that money. Right. You better gather up these teachings while God have you here. Wonderful. Amen. Come on back. Prayer begin five o'clock. Now, we won't be webcasting this evening. Viewers, I know you may be sad, but pick up next week. We won't be webcasting this evening, but it still will be evening service. Right. I got a very busy schedule this evening. Now to the family that I'm supposed to meet with from New Jersey. God willing, I will meet with you. It's almost three o'clock now. I will meet with you at four o'clock. That gives me time to get myself together and get some things rectified. So I will meet with you, the family from New Jersey, in one hour. Amen. If you don't know where my office is, see Brother Leon or Brother Shade or one of the brothers, they'll bring you up to my office at 4 o'clock sharp and then meetings after that. And uh, if I don't make it downstairs in time because of so many meetings, then damn the man Stacy at, he will be ministering to you. Yeah. He'll minister to you if I'm not down here in time. So to all the viewers, don't worry, be happy. There's enough ammunition over that over, over, over YouTube and on the top to That's take right. care of you, God knows. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's plenty. And I do mean plenty. All right. Remember, Wonderful. Kevin is ready to get going. So come on, let us stand. Yeah. Right. Amen. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your loving kindness and your mercy shown upon us. We thank you for the moving of your spirit as you bring your word around the world and opening people's eyes from coast to coast, from nation to nation, from country to country. We can never thank you enough for living up to what you have said in the scriptures that the increase of your government and peace there shall be no end. We are indebted to you for your grace, your mercy, your kindness, and the provisions that you alone continue to make for the church. We ask you to watch over us, keep us, and preserve us in all of our travel. Bless our going out and our coming in. Continue to add daily around the world such as should be saved. Strengthen all the ministers. Stand by them. Be with them. Bless their household that they may be saved. Bless all the brothers and sisters that are here and the millions that are watching, them that are fighting, open their understanding that they too may obey the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let your word prevail until the governments of the earth have to recognize your way of holiness. Let kings and queens recognize that thou art God. Hallelujah. Thank God and besides thee there is no other. Continue to use the truth of God to lift up a standard in the earth 
that the world may be guided to this way, the path of holiness, that they may learn the ways of God. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let every heart say amen. amen.